Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to version 1.1 of Glitchscaper from Igor Vasiliev. Before I continue, I would like to uh, remind my viewers to sus subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And also, Igor has provided some additional promo codes. So if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the video description and ensure that the winners have not been announced yet. Okay, so what are the big changes inside version 1.1 of Glitch Scaper? Well, there are quite a few. So let's start, first of all, creating an audio source. Let's actually choose um, something like uh, Scala, and for which we can create something, um, a pattern really nice, very easily. So let's go to song, let's go for 80. Uh, this one, let's select this code, drag and drop them like so, activate the looping, click play and perform. And if we deactivate for a moment Glitch Scaper, you will hear Scalar 2 playing a piano sound. Okay, we have that uh, audio source now. So let's uh, stop uh, for a moment uh, the playing. Okay, so first of all, you find that for each of the generators, you have solo buttons, like so, which is really nice. And um, it works really well because you can isolate now each of the generators. Then let's go through each generator in particular. Let me show you what has happened now. So let's go to the tone and under the tone here, where it says tone, you could actually change it to noise and you could change it to input, which now is called loop for recording. And now you have also stream, which you can use it for streaming the audio input. And therefore you can use, for example, Glitchscaper as a A6 uh, gated effects as you have six um, generators, right? So let's click play. And let's go to at uh, the beginning and increase the volume here. Or oh, I should have said the level. you can still work on the gate in here and the envelope so let's uh, have a look change the type of gate and then if we click inside we can change the envelope Okay, really nice. And then we can go to the next section and we can still have, for example, glitch on. You can adjust the type of glitch and the envelope, the same for the comb filter with its envelope and the, here the normal filter with the envelope. And of course you activate them down here so you can change the type of glitch here, the same the comb in uh, uh, filter intensity and then you can have the filter set to low medium and high here you can change the range and the resonance as well so let's try So as you can see, you have six different type of glitches. Let's deactivate the glitch and let's go for the comb filter, number one. This 
this one is quite nice. It gives you like that um, pluck sound. And of course, let's uh, set that to off. And now let's activate the filter. You can go to low pass, high pass and band, of course, or no filter. And then you can adjust the range and also in terms of the frequency that will be affected. And then you can adjust the resonance as well. And of course, you can adjust again um, the filter uh, settings here and include it in the envelope. And let's adjust the resonance now. Really nice. Of course, you can move ahead and you can still apply echo effects and adjusting the timing. Then you have a generated reverb reflection in here and your space effect. And you can activate different type of intensity in terms of chorus and also change the um, uh, the period or note duration of the phaser down here. And this brings me to show you the another addition which has been made in this uh, version, which you have this control here in the output section for space. Now, this uh, allows you to have uh, the space and, rever and uh, reverb reflection on or have them in continuous mode or off. Of course, when it is off, you can apply your own reverb externally, which, of course, in this case, you can add it here inside um, uh, as an additional insert effects on your audio channel of AUM. Or you can have it on or you can have it in continuous mode. In continuous mode, when you stop playback, the, um, the fade out doesn't happen. It depends on the setting of the reflection. So when you stop playing, it's still on that tail, that reverb tailing. You can hear it that is still on, but if I was to change that to just on and I stop, you hear the difference. You can see it stops straight away the reflection. Okay, so I mentioned that you have a solo button as well, which has been added. And then big addition inside here, you have some additional presets, of course, which is always nice to have a look at. But you also have this group button here. You can create, click on group and then you can create your own group, group of presets, like so. You can see it says SFM, it says no preset inside. If you click back here on the button, you can see now that you have a factory group and you also have a SFM group. And of course you can move as well presets using the move button between one bank to the next one. And uh, you can delete the grouping as well and you can also import and export the group so and let me show you just deleting this so it's just very simple so you have that selected there and click delete and it will say delete all presets and group from sfm click ok so as you can see a lot of different additions which have been added in version 1.1 the manual has been updated as well and as i mentioned you have some additional presets for you to explore Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial on the changes on version 1.1. And as always, see you next time. Bye.